This short video looks at patterns within number grids and shows a simple example of algebraic proof. Now if we look at this cross shape which I've drawn within the grid and if we add up the four outer numbers in the grid then the answer to that particular sum is 184. Now interestingly enough, if you look at the centre number, 46, and times that by 4, then we also get 184. So it appears that if you add up the four outer numbers, the answer is four times the inner number. And wherever we draw this cross on the grid, whilst the answer will change, it will always equal four lots of the centre number. Now we can prove this by doing a bit of algebra. If we call the number in the middle n, that's a general number. That could be 46, 76, 43, 15, it doesn't matter. However, wherever you draw the cross shape, the number above will always be 10 less than the centre number. So this is n take 10. The number below will always be 10 more than the number n plus 10. The number to the right will always be 1 more n plus 1 and the number to the left is always 1 less. That's n take 1. Now, if we now add up these four outer algebraic answers, we have an n minus 1 we have a n minus 10, we have a n plus 1, and a n plus 10. Now here I can see an n, 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 and n, which equals 4n, but the minus 1 here cancels with the plus 1 here, the minus 10 cancels with the plus 10 here. So that is just the answer. Oh, and the centre number is n, and if we do n times 4, we also get 4n. So we've proven the result. It doesn't matter what the centre number is, the outer numbers will always add up to 4 lots of the centre number.